Hey guys and welcome to another video. In this video, I will be showing you guys how I recreated the Henry Danger transformation effect. I have always wanted to recreate this effect since I started learning video editing. And after months of looking for a way I finally did it. It's not as hard as you think. They are just a bunch of videos on top each other. Now, these videos were created in another software. But, to save you the stress, you can download it by checking the link in the description. So I'm going to show you the videos that were used. These are the videos for the bubble gum. This video is for the edge of the subject's body. And this is a shockwave video that I downloaded from Triune Digital's quarantine pack which is free. And this video is for the main effect. They are just colors changing randomly. So now, the shots we are going to take. First you need to take a shot of the subject acting like he is blowing a bubble gum. If possible, use real gum as a reference or you can use a balloon. After blowing, move out of the frame and change your clothes. Then continue but make sure you are standing in the same place as before and when done, then take an empty shot. Now let's jump into Premiere Pro. So put your first video on the second video track and when the subject is about to blow the bubble put the bubble on the third video track and use the ultra key effect and remove the green and match it with the subject's mouth. So put the other video for the gum then set the blending mode to screen and also match it. Towards the ending of the bubble video, add the shockwave then set the blending mode to screen also and match it in a way that at the ending of the gum video, it explodes. So the next step is the main transfotion. Select the first shot and draw a mask in the shape of the subject's body. It doesn't have to be that precise it just needs to have the shape of the body. When done, put the color video in the timeline. Now copy the mask from the first shot and paste it on that video and you can delete the mask from the shot and nest the color video. So draw a rectangular mask around the nested sequence. Then select the two points down and drag it up to the head of the subject and then, toggle the animation for the mask path and move a few frames further and drag those two points down to the bottom of the subject and move few frames further and drag it above the head. So to reveal the other clothes, you can copy and paste the mask or you can do the same thing you just did. And the last thing is to add the video for the edges of the subject transforming. Bring it into the timeline and set the blending mode to screen. Then add sound effect and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching if you like the video, then give a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.